buttery, flaky, full flavor, full of cheese, everything in a twist. Tim Hortons has released a brand new fast food item, the Tim Hortons Twist. And today, we're gonna get some. I have acquired the twists and I'm going to have it with a delicious bowl of soup. Let's go. So here we have it. We have the two new twists. This one here is the everything twist. So basically anything that you have on the everything bagel, which is going to be located right here on a nice flaky pastry. And now this one is just the cheese one. There's no cheese inside. It's just got like a nice coating of cheese. Um, it's really just like the um, cheddar bagel, I'd say. Similar to the cheddar bagel, but in a nice little pastry. This here on its own, if it's not heated up, it could be very, very dry. Um, I did take it home with me, so right now it's hard as a rock. I'm gonna microwave it for about five seconds to get it a little bit more, uh, I'd say softer. And uh, I'm gonna try it on its own. And my wife made a delicious soup today. So I will also be enjoying these two flaky pastries with the soup. Let's do it. So here we are. I nuked them for about 30 seconds. These things are piping hot. Steam is just pouring through it at this point. And it's nice and buttery and soft, very pillowy good texture from the, I guess, cheddar cheese topping on top. The full flavored one as well. Woo! Very hot. Ah, ah, burning my fingers. This one's a little bit doughy. This one might be slightly undercooked, but um, also has a nice touch to it. Good feel. Poppy seeds are nice and a nice hearty bowl of vegetables grown in the garden that my wife made to go along with these buttery twists. All right, let's dig into it. So I'm gonna start with the cheddar one. You can see inside there's little bits of cheddar. It's not overly stuffed with cheese by any means. It's just kind of a flaky pastry with the cheddar topping on top. It's got a nice chew to it. Mmm. It's nice, but for the price range, I don't think I'll ever get it again. I guess it would be nice if you had like a nice soup and one of these, but for the price point, you could just get like a bagel. It would probably be cheaper and more delicious than, than this. The fact that I microwaved it definitely helped. I'm gonna try it with the soup. That's what it's made for. For dipping in soup. This is delicious. If you dip it in soup, it's delicious. If you dip it in my wife's soup, it's even more delicious. Mmm. Hold on. Now, the full flavored one. It's got the full flavored bagel seasoning all over it. This one looks a little bit more well seasoned. This one is definitely a little undercooked. It's doughy. But the flavor is there. You're definitely getting hints of Parmesan. Paprika, onion, garlic. And the poppy seeds are a nice little touch. On its own, pretty good. But once again, the price point kind of kills it for me. At that price, get yourself a bagel, get yourself a nice little donut on the side. Unless you're having a soup and you want like a little bread and you're kind of tired of bagels, then I would say go with the twist. Definitely meant for soup. Would I ever get this again? No. Should you try it? Definitely. But get yourself a side soup. Thanks for watching. Hmm. And if you liked that video, 
How about these videos? And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It would greatly help the algorithm. And I'll just be here and dipping this in the soup. Oh yeah.